what's up guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i will show you guys how to do a nice realistic texture in blender so first thing you want to do now when doing texture you have to uv unwrap your model so just go to edit mode then press u you can unwrap this but first thing you have to do is to max strength to this uv so that it can come out nice so let me show you my uv is not perfect but it works for this video i'm showing you guys for the sake of the tutorial okay now let's go to the shading tab okay so first thing we have here is our default which is the principal bsdf shader and it is the basic that blender has for us so with this principal bsdf we can do a lot with this okay so when we just give this a color we can just change this color here click here give it any color you'd like okay for this now this is a basic color and we can also do so much with this so let's give this a metallic okay now this is really looking nice so let's get started with what i'm going to show you right now so now let's add a simple node base to this okay let's press shift a go to converter now add a color ramp when doing texturing we use a lot of color ramp okay so you know this this is very powerful node so it's very very much better okay now let's just give this a color click here select the white now let's give it a nice color here like so something like this and for this dark let's light it up then give it something like this let's dark it a little okay so it's better like this okay now when you drop this to the base color mesh we have something like this and because that this is the mixture of this blue and this brown but we can use something to drive this okay let me show you what i mean so when you add a image texture let me just go ahead and check out the image texture i have here like something like this when you look at it you see the texture here but i can also change it press shift go to color ramp again i can drop this then refine this it's a bit more better you can see what is going on here so instead of that i'll just decrease this to make it more lighter and i will just add another node which is mix rgb press shift a go to mix color let's select mix rgb put it here now i can just dive in to have less of the color you can see something like this okay so when you just put this in the factor like so then choose this we have something like this okay guys now in this color ramp i can always tweak this and we have much more brown in the basic of the model so this is what we get and you can see that we have this brownish color in the in the add surface of this texture you can see it okay so that is that so let me just take this and bring down the saturation a bit like so so i will just drag this back like so so this is looking nice for me i'm okay with this so for this we can also drive the noise and from the noise here to the roughness so when you just drag this so this color ramp to the roughness here we have something like this but it's not really looking nice so we can trick this with also with color ramp node so press shift a go to converter select a color ramp drop it here also so we can trick this so we can go to the black value first just drag it up to be fair like so and to the white value just click on it again drag it something like here okay so we can always trick this all right so this is looking better Okay, so what I'm, I'm going to show you right now would amaze you guys. So just focus and learn this. So we can also have a bump. So let me just add it. Now another texture to this. So the texture I'm using, I'll put a link to in my description. So if you're my patron, you can download this and use it in your project. But the 3D model will be for free for all of everyone that want to use it. Okay, so I will just let's check this and see what we get so we can also add a color ramp to this just to tweak it a little 
instead of dragging the black tool let's drag the white so we can have a tiny color ramp going on here so when you drop this into the normal of this here this is what we get okay so this is not really looking better so we can add a vector so add the bump put it here from the normal just put it to the height so we have a O in this so you can see that this is really looking nice and it is better you have something like this so the next thing I'm going to show you right now will blow your mind so when you check this see that this is just plain so we need to have some texture and I mean some depth in this so you can do that by adding shift a go to input here bevel node just drop that here now just press shift a again input add the geometry put that here also aside so with okay, now you can just press shift a go to converter come down here and add a vector mask to this so with this vector mask just click on add then change it to cross product so we just plug this normal to the normal here and this normal to the normal down here so when you check this you can check this by pressing shift then control then click so you can see what is going on here you can see that this has a lot of depth in it and we can use this with a color ramp i tell you that we use a lot of color ramp in this tutorial so press shift a go to color ramp add it to convert it to black and white now we can adjust this and tweak it the way we want so I will just drag this close a bit so it's too heavy just drag it here you can see that it's really driving this okay so this is better so you can just tweak this so for you this is a node base so you can just go back to any of your node then make some adjustment and it will affect the whole project so that is how node base workflow works okay now we have this so I will be able to use this in this so let's drag this back okay so let's drag this forward okay so to mix this with this so we need a color mix color then go to RGB mix so put this here this mix so we can plug this direct into the color here so we can check both you can see what is going on here okay so when you just check it through the color ramp you can see this so we want this brown to be at the depth so what we do is to invert this press shift a go to color then add the invert node drop that here okay you can see that this is at the depth so we need more of the brown so let's drag this backward way 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 back you can see that we have a lot of brown here now we can just decrease it the way you like but let's leave it something like here okay so when we just view this now we have something like this we can see that this is really looking nice we have some brown in the edges and you can see this old is very very much browning and this is really really nice effect okay and that is that is cool and the next effect i'm going to show you that is really cool is to is painting so let's do texture painting okay go to texture painting right here now we have something like this at this beginning so what we have to do is to just click on this material set a single image now add new so for this we can times this by two just press times two to multiply it times two to multiply it so you can just see for this you can give it a name like zero so i'll just put 11 so i don't miss it so what you have to do now is to save this to your image when painting so what 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 I really want to paint here is like a stain which is like blood. So I'll just come down to here, add the red color. So I could just go to this, then reduce this like so. I just reduce the brush, something like. Let me just check. So just go ahead and paint where you want the blood to be. So you can just affect the strength. So let's go ahead and drop down the strength a bit so you can just do something like this you can really zoom in then start painting on the edges like so so it's better you affect the strength a lot so you have a nice looking effect so you can play around with this and you have something nice
just go ahead and save it save it anywhere you want i'll just leave it here in the document here and save so i'll go back to the shading so i'll just drag this back okay so what i will do now is to add a mix shader press shift a go to color go to shading then add a mix shader drop that here so we need another color ramp so press shift a go to color converter then add another principal bfdf so let's add another principal bfdf first click here so we have another principal bfdf and when we view this we want this to be a color for this so let's just add this like a reddish color okay then give us a bit of this rough drop down the roughness you can put it something like a zero is okay so what to do now is just plug this in the down socket here then view it so by doing this this is what it gets and we can just drive it from the factor we save out so press shift go to texture now select image texture Okay, now in this image texture, we have our paint, we paint out the blood, so select it, then drop it to the factor. So when doing that, we have the blood in where we paint from the factor. And this is really, really, really cool. You can see that we have the blood where we paint it. So this is how to do a nice effect, and this is the basics of texturing in Blender and the advanced. So you have to know how to do all these things, so you can really pull out some really nice texture. And let me give some bonus of this. You can see all this O I made with this. You can also drive the O to be another color of the shading. So you can just add another mix and another piece of BFDF. So you can just duplicate this mix then drop it here. So add a new piece of BFDF shader. Drop it here. Okay, so you can see. Let me just show you this. From this we can generate another paint here so let's just drive this let's add a new color ramp to this first just drop that here so for this color ramp we can just drag this just to make this really really tiny you can see so let's drag this crush it down it's not really crushed like that let's drag the white part so we can really 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 crush it down okay this is okay for me so what i will do now is just check this color up check this principle bfdf now give the metallic solid metallic so when you're doing a metallic there's nothing like less metallic more metallic just give it one metallic that's the shade for metallic metal doesn't have something like a little metal or much metal metal is metal okay so what drive metal is the roughness so left did the roughness so you can just reduce the roughness okay so if you want to have a much metal you can always do that in the rough you can see that the roughness affects it so that's how to do a metal texture okay so let's drag this here into the down from this now let's view this together so by viewing this together like before we have something like this so what we want is to drive this from the factor just plug this direct to the factor and when you do that we have something like this and this is not exactly what we're looking for so we can invert it press shift a go to color select invert node then plug it right here so by doing that we have something cool uh, we have some scratchy bumpy texture inside it you can see that's really, really looking nice you can see something here Look around here, what you get here, and you can do only you can always drag this very, very close. Okay, it's too clipping, so you drag it back. Okay, so this is bonus I want to show you, and this is the really, really cool effect that I've been using quite a long time. And I hope you love this tutorial. And make sure if you do, make sure you subscribe to my channel and watch all my videos. So you can just get the model from my Patreon for free and the texture I use, the image texture, I will post it for my Patreon. If you support my Patreon, you can get the texture.
So that is all about this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my next one.